The tactics and squad strengths have been analysed by committed fans and neutral observers to the nth degree. A confrontation that all football lovers will revel in, knowing that we might be about to witness a simply unmissable occasion. Who will come out on top? And good evening to you from the Parc des Princes here in the French capital, Paris, the venue for tonight's action. I'm Derek Ray, getting ready to bring you all the action, accompanied by my broadcasting partner, Stuart Robson. And if this game lives up to its billing, we're in for a riveting occasion. It's France against Italy. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. Here's the side France will go with. Mike Mignon begins in goal. Kylian Mbappe plays with Ousmane Dembele in the wide positions. And the striker today is Marcus Turam. And the Italy starting 11. Gianluigi Donnarumma begins in goal. Nicolo Barella plays alongside Jorginho in the centre of midfield. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. Chouameni. Some of the fans are screaming, have a go. Barella. Bonaventura. Making progress. Oh, Chiesa! Oh, that is an outrageously good stop. Well, great reflex from the keeper. He did brilliantly there. Bonaventura and the shot and a decent save full credit Dembele Griezmann Turam can they forge ahead they do and you've got to say they're good value for the lead Well, I have to say, it's a lovely bit of skill by Dembele. And Dembele's finish gives the keeper no chance. He hits it with such venom. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Federico Chiesa. Dembele. Promising move this from France. Mbappe! My goodness, that save. Fully stretched he was. One for his own highlights reel. Whipped in by Griezmann. Danger still on. Well, good technique in terms of how he struck it. And he has options available. Mbappe in the centre, not messing around with that clearance. Griezmann, Hernandez. Oh, he couldn't outwit the keeper. Top class defending. A foul, but advantage played. Federico Chiesa. Oh, he's left his marker for dead. But a good piece of tidying up. Bonaventura here. Smuggled away. 
Well, perhaps he thought he might escape punishment. Not the case. It's a booking. How about the cross? It should be! And agonising for them. A certain chance to square this game. Well, you can't get away from it. That's a wasted chance to get back on level terms here. Teo Hernandez and Upamecano. William Saliba. Now with Upamecano. Griezmann hanging on to the ball in this fashion suits them. Rabio. A really single minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. Bonaventura. And the attack looks promising, but nothing comes of it. France doing well to regain possession. France being afforded too much space here. Has a go. And the keeper getting across to stop it. Played in by Griezmann. Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. Mbappe. And they need to get tighter here. A fine reading of the situation. Well, France have had all the ball in the last 15 minutes and their attacking play has been excellent. Surely only a matter of time before they extend their lead here. Yes, it might be on for them once more. And what a magical save it was! Griezmann tasked with taking the corner. And still dangerous. Close. Dembele, now with Mbappe, takes on the shot, well actually pretty easy for the goalkeeper in the end. Barella, Berardi has it, Raspadori, Domenico Berardi, Barella, Could be threatening. Well, the flag was up in good time, bringing that move to an end. Well, he's just got to be more patient there. He's gone too early. William Saliba and Upamecano. And here's Saliba, holding on to what they have, is the priority, apparently. Moving the ball nicely, looking for that final pass. Rabio. There it is! Two to the good now, and that gives them a buffer. As you can see, he just about gets that right. Some would say it's slightly lucky. I would say it's perfect placement. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. Bonaventura 
The ball with Chiesa. And continues his run. Now he must favour the cross. Oh, he looks threatening. The referee is given a corner. Favouring the short one. Jorginho. Oh, great defending. Chiesa. Bonaventura. And putting his body on the line. And a decent save. Full credit. Playing it in. And they will be awarded a free kick for that. William Saliba. Now with Upamecano. Griezmann. Well, when you're leading, you can afford to be pass happy. Now Griezmann. And well, a good tackle. Trying to open up the defence. He's trying to create something. Textbook defending inside the box. Dembele. And back to Dembele. The ball with Chiesa. Oh, nice ball over the top. Outdoing his opponent. Well, she was hoping perhaps not to have to blow the whistle, but in the end it will be a free kick. Looking cross. Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. And over it comes. Was it a great clearance? Well, no damage done. Griezmann. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. Well, choose your descriptive word where Kilian... So, back in business. And France dominating the proceedings in the first 45. Will it be different in the second half? Domenico Berardi Raspadori just the challenge that was required in a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here able to close down the shot Jonathan Close Take some progress with the ball at his feet. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Griezmann. Many Griezmann, they've regained possession. Bonaventura, 
Barella. Really poor timing, and some will argue that he was asking for a yellow card. And following the infringement, a caution. Yeah, no surprise there. That was always going to be a booking. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. He'll have a go here! And the goalkeeper not offering any scraps that time. Upamecano. And here's Saliba. Rabio. Mbappe with it. What to like about that pass? And cutting it out. Well, they're moving it around with real purpose here. Nicely cut out. Could be! Still a chance! But no, it's not going to be an opportunity because the flag is up. Well, here it is again. And yes, it's close, but it is offside. Great decision by the assistant. Time for a change then. Jonathan Close. And here's Saliba. Upamecano. Teo Hernandez. Well, we have 30 minutes to go. Well, the defenders know they need to get tighter. Can't really allow runs like that. Could play it in. Well, the attack carried promise, but petered out. Could be a chance to break here. And well positioned to clear. Barella could pull one back here. But no! What a glorious opportunity squandered to get back into this. Well, that had to go in, didn't it? I just can't see them turning this around now. Radio. Close. Dembele, Turam, Kylian Mbappe, just can't get it past him. Delivered into the area here, clearance needed to be better. And they can't quite take advantage in the end. Barella, counter-attacking chance. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Well, the referee wasn't going to let that go. Had a chance to whip it in here. Just the challenge that was required. Griezmann. Can he do it? And that's easy peasy for the keeper. Jorginho Chiesa crossing possibilities cuts it back tremendous block it is now with Jorginho he opted for placement but it didn't happen for him
Griezmann. Chouameni. Now with Upamecano. And France pushing forward with options available. Mbappe! And it's a double for him in this game. No way for the opposition to contain him. And no wonder he's off celebrating. Well, let's have another look at this because Mbappe shows such skill to go beyond the defender. And Mbappe just hits it with such confidence. He strikes it so cleanly. It's a great goal. So the action is restarted, and it's been a goal-scoring masterclass from France so far. You sense it's a question of how many. Might lead to a chance, and that, a piece of goalkeeping, you're going to see again and again and again. <laughs> Trying to deliver it accurately. Terrific piece of anticipation. Oh, good defending to stop a decent-looking attack. And it's the vision of Griezmann coming to the fore. And it will be goalkeeper's ball. Federico Di Marco. And Dembele couldn't keep the ball. Upa Makano. Turan. He takes aim. Oh, fine stop. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. Corner kick played in. Giovanni Di Lorenzo. Now counter-attacking possibilities. Can they keep it going? Fine cross into the middle. And a confident clearance. Marcus Tuham. Griezmann and defensive play to be applauded Matteo Damian Berardi has it Davide Fratesi he read the situation defensively and did his job William Saliba Aurelien Chouameni. Griezmann. Oh, that's a fine save. Who can he pick out? And there it breaks down, but credit to the defence. Francesco Acerbi on to Jorginho Damian it's with Acerbi Jorginho Mancini on advantage with them referee says play on oh a smart stop Not great distribution from the keeper. Gianluca Scamacca. Well, there it is, the final whistle, and France have prevailed in this one. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, it was a very assured performance, wasn't it? I was particularly impressed with their play going forward. 
really lively, almost cutting through at will at times. The result was never much in doubt, if I'm honest. Well, no doubt about it, Usman Dembele certainly caught the eye. Interested to know what you made of him. Well, that performance sums him up, really. You're never disappointed with what he gives you. Such a good player.